everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Daya here. It is Vlogmas Day 8. I'm one day behind, and that is due to my power outage that happened a few days ago. Uh, check out uh, Vlogmas Day 6, I think it was, um, where I talked about that. But anyway, today is I'm going to be doing like arts and crafts for this video, and it's going to be an embroidery kit. Uh, that I picked up at Walmart. I have I picked up like three kits actually, and all together it was like thirty one dollars or something like that. But um, embroidery kits that I'm going to be um, sewing and showing you guys like how it came out. Might sell it, try to sell it and flip it on Etsy and make that a video too, or like on Pinterest and see where that goes. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm just really excited to break into these and do that. I would have painted, but I, I've painted before in past videos, and I kind of just wanted to show um, this aspect of the art thing that I do. So, yeah, embroidery kits. In all reality, I got these kits for my kids, but. Um, they were just like a little bit too difficult for the needles, like were too difficult for their little hands to hold in the thread. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is going to Dollar Tree because I saw some more um, kid friendly ones there and I'll, you know, show you guys what those look like. But uh, for me, Dollar Tree had more kid friendly embroidery kits. <laughs> but. For me, I was just like, like this one I got for my uh, five-year-old son, and his hands are tiny, yes, but to just get that and try to like, yeah, it wasn't happening for him. Um, so like I said, Dollar Tree, I'll update you guys on that. I think because I already got this one, I pulled this one out, and I kind of want to just like show him, um how it came out. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one for you guys today. My little happy llama. He's spreading love. <laughs> okay, so I stand corrected. It was actually uh, four kits that I bought from Walmart. and But like I said, it came out to be like $31. But however, I was not satisfied because they were not kid friendly. Um, this one as you can see, it has three designs on them, so I'm going to already, you know, um, stabilize the llama, so I, like I said, I'm going to do that one. And so this kit came with a needle and, like, a hole puncher, learn to punch needle. It was pretty, it was pretty cool when I picked it up at first. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Um, but as you can see, I was looking at the pictures like maybe they would be bigger, um, but they were not. And I should have looked at the, I should looked at the measurements. If you're gonna buy embroidery stuff, look at the measurements. That is so important. But it also came with like instructions here, so it's pretty basic. Um, it came with some thread here. Pink, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue, purple, and black. And for the llama, I'm going to simply use two colors, which is light blue and purple. So I'll just take that apart from this bunch here. Okay, so what I did is they wanted me to start with the purple thread. So I went ahead and threaded my needle. I'm going to put a little knot at the end of the strand here. <clears throat> Simply what I do, how to do that is I grab the end and, you know, like a little bit of a space, like the width of your nose, <laughs> um, a part like that, and just grab the end of it and kind of like make a circle and make sure you get that string part this extra string part right here, the tail into itself and make a knot. So. 
sometimes it's hard to <laughs> do it. Oh, there we go. I got it. As you can see, I got it out there. That's really all you need because the fabric is <clears throat> so thin. So, yeah. And now I'm just going to make my puncture in the little heart because the heart is. Wait, no. The llama is purple. So I'm going to start the outline and then um, color within him and make him purple. And I'll do a speed up of that. So to make sure it comes out kind of like neat, I just start, I start from the back. Like I just pierce in the back. Like so, I'm going to start right there. And then I pull through so that that knot is in the back of your embroidery design instead of bulky in the front because you know then nobody can see it and then you just go all around since this is super small i'm gonna just go around and um tie as, as close as i can not super far apart so yeah Yes, this is a huge needle. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this big of a needle, but I'm just really bad at threading um, and get it, threading a needle that is smaller. So yeah, that's what this is for. So. Remember when you're done um, with a color to just take the needle off and tie a knot after, you know, with the loose thread and just cut the excess off to make it look neat. But what I end, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna um, embroid like the heart and um, I'm gonna leave the face alone, or I might actually I'm gonna do with black. Um, with the face and the ears and the, the hooves and then I'm going to acrylic paint this but then I'm going to also stitch like the tail and the ear um, here, so on the side okay. one reason why I love embroidery is because um, you can easily switch to from one section to another. I'm gonna simply effortlessly <laughs> uh, go from one ear to another without it looking you know um, messy and how I'll do that is by going through the back here. I, I made my last little thread in the front right there and now I'm just gonna go to the back and skip to the next ear. Right there. And 
the, all your mess pretty much is going to be in the back. So, as you can see, I'm already on the ear and it looks nice and seamless in the front here. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the stitching um, ending result, and now I'm gonna like tie dye all of this cloth and or dye it, and then um, acrylic paint the little llama and the heart. So now that I'm done the stitching with all my colors, this is what it looks on the like on the front. And this is what it looks like in the back. Like I said, it's going to be super sloppy in the back, but it looks seamless in the front. But now I'm going to dye it. So what I'm going to do is I use, I'm going to use an old, like, my, um, an old bowl, plastic bowl that I have. And I'm going to get some yellow acrylic paint that I have from Crayola. And um, add just a tiny bit of water in here because I want it to really soak. I want the fabric to really soak up this acrylic paint here. Um, and I was told not to use too much water just so that the fabric, all of this soaks up this like amber yellowish color. And then I will let it dry and then I'll paint um, the rest of the llama with acrylic paint in the heart. But I wanted to use, real quick, I wanted to use a color that was not the same as the stitching that I used just so that the stitching can stick out. So I wanted to make that point. So we obviously want some um, plastic or latex gloves or something like that. Um, but I got me some lukewarm <clears throat> water. I'm just going to add my acrylic paint. If it wants to. There we go. Ooh, it looks weird. But I'm going to add the paint. I'm just going to mix it around with my glove hand like this. You know, it looks like mustard or whatnot, but mixing it around. Ooh, ooh. That totally looks like mustard. It's a pretty uh, amber color for sure. And I think I went ahead and got most of the paint mixed in here. I'm hoping it feels like it. I don't feel no clumps or anything at the bottom. So let's go ahead and grab that. I'm just I'm gonna like fold it over and just like get all of that fabric in there. Um, just so it gets it. I'm going to soak it all in and it's, I'm going to leave it soaking for about 20 minutes. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is what it came out to be. Um, it doesn't look super yellow on the lighting, but as you can see, there's a, a tint. Um, where I'm standing, it's like definitely a yellowish color. It's not the same, um, like white color it was. But I went ahead and did that. Now I just gotta dry it, dry the cloth, and then I'm gonna paint the inside of the llama in the heart. So as you see here, this is the finished product of it being dry. Um, well, not the finished finished product, but gonna now paint it with my acrylic paint I have here I got some black some blue and some purple uh, just so I can match the colors of the llama and stuff like that um, but I'm gonna paint it with the acrylic paint my little supplies here and then um, let that dry and then go to the next step I like to start with the lighter color first when I'm using one paintbrush 
just because, I don't know, I, some weird artist thing in my mind, but I'm just gonna pin I don't want to cover up the stitching, it's going to be ever so gentle as much as I can. Um, and I will do that to the rest of the llama. Okay everybody, so this is the finished finished product. Um, I have my little llama and I wrote with a sharpie fine point um, saying llamas needs loves twos. <laughs> I know that's improper uh, English but look I just was trying to make it look cute so um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the edges but I'm gonna post this on Etsy and see how it does and I will keep I will do a follow-up video um, for to see how my products do um, on Etsy but I'll zoom in or bring it up close so you can see it better look at that it came out so cute llamas needs loves too Alright guys, that wraps up Vlogmas Day 8. I hope you enjoyed. Stick around for Vlogmas Day 9. I'm not sure what I'm doing. It's a surprise to me too, okay y'all? But um, like I said, I'll do a follow-up video one of these um, weeks for the Etsy deal and how my embroidery little project went on there. And yeah, stick around for tomorrow. Bye guys, love you.